Hello, viewer, wasting their time on my videos. Seriously, this is a waste of time. You're watching these unconditional videos while you can be watching other videos. Like, seriously. There's a whole internet, and you're watching me. Thanks for watching me, but seriously, while you're at it, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know all my videos are on your homepage. Yeah. Cool stuff. And sorry for the glare. I'm told that that very messes up. If I look this way, like if I do this, to go on my computer, my back just shows the entire light. And if I just move too much, it just gets the light. It's also right between the bunk bed. If you didn't know, I got a bunk bed. So yeah. But, but today we're going to be talking about my trip. So I made an I'm back video where I didn't do much talking about my trip. That video was supposed to talk about my trip. But I didn't talk much about it. So today we're going to be talking about the trip. Not just saying I'm back to YouTube, because I am. I have actually been gone for a week. Actually, have I been gone for a week? Let's see. Actually, yes, I haven't up I uploaded the worst of best blurry face by Tone on Pilots. Which didn't get views like I wanted it to. So a lot of you probably already watched the My Adventure to Hawaii video. And as you probably all know by now, I went to Hawaii for about a month. Essentially, the video states a lot, but it doesn't have a lot of footage. For one thing, I actually saw a turtle. It's not in the video. I saw a lot of turtles because I went to an aquarium, but it doesn't show it in the video. I mean, there are turtles in the video, but it's the ones from the aquarium. I didn't show the turtle because I borrowed a GoPro. That's where all the cool footage of the snorkeling. It was in these tide pools that you go to. And there's three islands, okay. There's the main island of Hawaii, which is actually called the Big Island. It was my least favorite because it's just kind of boring and no one's there. It's just sad and lonely. The second worst, in my opinion, was I went to three. So Hawaii, the Big Island, Oahu. No, not no, that's not Oahu. That's Hawaii, the Big Island, Maui. If no, not uh, Moana, not from the character from Moana, and uh, ah, oh, dang it. O Oahu. There was footage of Honolulu in the video as well, where I filmed the Honolulu skyline because from our place it's like in an alley kind of, but then you walk right out and then you see like all of Oahu. It's really close to Waikiki Beach, which also I wanted to get in the video, but I didn't. Also, I went surfing on Waikiki Beach, which is also not in the video. If you want proof, I have pictures on my dad's phone, so maybe I will post that on Twitter or something. And if you want to know how to figure out how to go to my Twitter page, if you go, if you're watching me on the computer, it's simply on my homepage, right? Let's see, on, if you see where it says Twitter right in the corner, yeah, you just click that and then it goes straight to my Twitter account. You make an account. If, you, if you're not allowed to, you just don't show any information. Ask your parents first. If not, then just look at my tweets or so. And if you can make an account, please just... Um, tweet at me what you want my videos to be, what do you think I should do my videos about, and I will reply with a yes or a no if that's a good idea or a bad idea, because I'm running out of ideas, so yeah. Also, if you're on tablet or device or any phone or touchscreen, you go to About on my channel. I can't really show that because I don't have a device with me. Actually, I kind of do. If you're on a tablet, like demonstrated right here, you simply, like, let's see, you simply click, wait, let me let it set in, simply click about, assuming I can click that, and you see down below where it says Twitter, you click that and do all the instructions I did later, you message me, what do you want my videos to be about, and I can put t turn it into a video idea, also ask questions and everything. So, the video, the big video, the um, Hawaii video, explains a giant chunk of the trip, but not all of the trip. It mainly just explains, I went to Hawaii, and I did some cool stuff. I, there's also one second of zip lining. I have a really long two-minute video that's kind of boring. I could upload it to the channel, I just have to clip part of it out, because it probably would have private information in it, so yeah. It was cool. I had a GoPro on my head while I ziplined, so I just turn it on and just film a little bit of ziplining. And it was pretty fun, ziplining. Another 
little thing you get to do is, so, people that are going to Hawaii, Oahu, if you have the time, do something called turtle tours. It's this thing that when you go to um, Honolulu, you get picked, you can choose a place for the, the bus, they have a bus that'll pick you up, and they go through your round the island of Oahu, and it was pretty fun. You get to eat fresh pineapples, and then, at the end of the tour, they take you to this place where there are turtles everywhere. So, essentially, my part of the story is, I go to, on this beach, <coughs> put all my snorkeling gear on, I go down into the water, I'm, like, really excited, I'm so excited to see a turtle. It's really lifeless there, there's not many fish. Then there I found this giant rock. It's in the middle of the water. There are a bunch of cool fish. There's like Dory was there, I think. I think I found the Dory fish. And like, there's these other fish from the movie Finding Nemo that are there. And then you go to, um, you go right over to, actually my Xbox. It's in the screen right here. I'm not going to be able to move that out. And then, um, and now you noticed it that you can't focus on me. You're just focusing on that Xbox. You know what, here's what you do. You grab your tablet, if you're watching on whatever device, you put your device away, and you go do other things, plug some headphones in, and just listen to I talk, because what I show doesn't really matter. But, so you essentially, like, on, when I get in the water, you, like, look for turtles, and it's fun, but I found the rock, I told you all of this, and then my mom sees one. She sees the head poke out of the water, so I run over to it. I probably cut my feet. And then... I draw, jump jump into the water and search for a little while. Probably about 10 minutes. Didn't find the turtle she was talking about. I'm super excited. Then I just calm down. Like, okay, might be a while till I see a turtle. Just calm down, breathe. I open my eyes. I look up. And right here, just right here, probably about, let's see, the tur and the sunshine. Um, Let's say the turtle's about, you can't see this, so here is where the turtle, like, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to demonstrate this. It's maybe about five feet away, only five feet, and it just swims. It is like this five-foot turtle. It was pretty exciting. And also, after this whole Hawaii thing, I'm not talking a lot about Hawaii because it's all in the video. You can watch all the footage, all the footage I got. I also went, so this tide pool snorkeling is in the video, so I don't need to explain that much. There were some pretty cool, like, coral towers there. I might upload a bunch more of the footage on my Twitter. <coughs> but anyway, I also uploaded a lot of videos that end up in it, like the lava videos, like the real hot lava. It's relatively, like, downfalling that that's the lava. That's how close you get, because the gas can hurt, but... Yeah, the lava was cool. So after Hawaii, we go to California, L.A., and I got to see Hollywood. I watched on the Walk of Fame, which was pretty cool. I was almost going to show you guys this, but this is from, like, five years ago, and I went to Philadelphia, but this is what I meant to show you guys. So, I went to Universal Studios. My I got one of these. It's these wands. They do, do, do you use these there? You go up to certain spots. I also have a map right here, which I'm going to hang up. Like, this map. I'm probably going to hang it up. And then what you do is you go around, and you just... Wave the wand at things and things will happen. I never got to do it because it got scratched. My sister scratched the end and it bent. So I didn't get to do it much. Now it's a decoration because it doesn't work much anymore. But. <coughs> also, I have some other things from uh, Disneyland. Okay, now I'm going to talk more about Universal Studios. Um, We did the um, every ride there. So every ride at Universal Studios I did in California. I don't know if there's others in other countries. Or anything. I don't know if they do the studio tour in, like, um, the Japan, Singapore, and Florida. Like, comment down below. Do they do the, um, and the studio tour? Do they have the studio tour in other places? Like, in Japan or Singapore or Florida? <coughs> Next, um, like, my favorite ride from this park. So, I'm going to go over for, like, my top three rides. I'm going to have to say my third favorite ride was Jurassic Park, mainly because it was just kind of amazing imagery. Like, you're in it, so essentially you get in a boat, you go up a ramp, because of course there's a waterfall in it, and then you're at the top of it, and then, like, you're just going through this nice water, you see some pretty cool brachiosaurs, which actually looks pretty amazing. You see dinosaurs, and then eventually you see a broken, you see the velociraptor cage, 
and you see a dimo dimorphodon in the, a boat tearing it up. You see, like, jackets and everything, and then he shoots his venom at you. They do overuse that. Like, he, like, just goes, like, his flails come out, and then he goes, shh. They use that a lot in it. They also have this pretty amazing thing where there's a car tilted on the edge, and then it falls off. It's kind of amazing. Then you go inside a building. You go up the ramp a little more, and you see Velociraptors coming through the cage, and then this giant T-Rex comes right through the roof. I think it was kind of like this. You see the T-Rex in the waterfall, and then he comes right through the roof, and then you go right through the waterfall, and you go directly straight down in a curve, and this was kind of an intense waterfall. That's it's the reason why I didn't do Splash Mountain. I'm 12. Get over it. Actually, almost 13. But then, um, <coughs> they, um, at the end, you just end the ride, and it's cool. The second best ride, in my opinion, is The Mummy, The Revenge of the Mummy. Oh, my God. That thing was just terrifying. Like, here's what you do. You go in a cart. You drive right through, like, all this cool stuff, like the mummy and everything. It's mummy-themed. And then you see these two statues, and they start talking. And then eventually it goes... Your soul is mine. And then you literally just drop, go... F I, it felt like 100 miles per hour, but it's actually 40 miles per hour. See, like, spirits above you. It was in, in the complete dark. By the end of this ride, and, and then you go to a wall, and then you do that whole thing. Actually, the car goes reverse. I did that when I was, like, three. I went, no, six. I did Everest in Disney World when I was six, and it was terrifying. Then it stops at the end, and this is my, literally my face. It is, like... Absolutely terrifying. Then, Disneyland, which, by all means, I'm going to just split the California Adventure and Disneyland. I didn't get to do every ride at this place because it's ginormous. First, <coughs> the first place I went to was California Adventure. Uh, I gotta have to say, um, uh, there were a lot of really cool rides at this place. I didn't do California Screaming because I that's not my type of roller coaster. I do I like roller coasters, but not my type. Uh, I'm gonna have to say my third favorite. Ah, uh, I'm not thinking of any right now. Let me think. So I looked through all the rides here on this website, and there might my favorite might be the Moholand Madness. Oh wait, wait a minute, let me see if they actually have this. Flix Flyers was relatively boring. Uh. I know they had one where you are in a cart and <coughs> it's like a flying. You're supposed to be flying. It's those mouse carts and then that one might have been my third favorite. There's also Soren was pretty fun. The Grizzly River Run actually is probably my third favorite. My second is definitely Radiator Springs Racers. Oh my gosh, that thing was pretty awesome. Then I know what my favorite is just... I know it. Uh, let's see if they have it on here. Oh, Midway Mania. That one might be one of them, uh, but definitely not. The Choo Choo Train. No, that's not my favorite. My favorite, it doesn't say it on here, but it's the Mission Breakout. That thing is my favorite ride of all time. If you go to Disneyland, I don't care if it says you have to wait 120 minutes. That's actually, I had to wait two hours in the Harry Potter of the first. I didn't say my favorite ride at Universal Studios. It was the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Let me get back to this. On I had to wait two hours in the Harry Potter Forbidden Journey. If you have to wait ten hours in Mission Breakout, it doesn't matter. It is so worth it. It is awesome. A lot of people are probably mad they changed the Tower of Terror to Mission Breakout. I think it actually goes pretty well. Like, it's actually kind of awesome. Like, you go, like, up and down for a while, and then you go up to the top, very top, you see a window open, you see all of Disneyland, and then you drop. It is kind of awesome. Okay, now, the Disneyland itself. Number, my third favorite ride at Disneyland itself. Um, I think, actually, I'm going to do a top four, number four, Indiana Jones, because it's just the next one. My third favorite has got to be Big Thunder Mountain. That is kind of one of the greatest roller coasters I've ever been on. It's like you're on a runaway train. It doesn't do many downs, but it just kind of like the more moving things, except for like the going straight down and things like that. The second best is the, um, uh, oh, sorry. The second best is the Matterhorn. There's nothing to explain how amazing the Matterhorn is. Like the Getty going through it, just like riding through that thing was awesome. It's one of my favorite roller coasters. 
And it's probably my favorite. No, the best is Space Mountain. Space Mountain was just kind of all right, amazing. You basically go in a cart and you're just flying through space. It's kind of amazing. You probably find some like GoPro videos of Space Mountain if you want to see it better. You can't really actually see during a ride. It's like the mummy, but there's actually lights. Yeah. So, what were my least favorite rides from these parks? Well, I would say my least favorite from Disney, the California Adventure. You kind of knew this. It was the Hemlich's Choo Choo Train. Like, what was that? There was also on uh, Universal Studios. I'm going to have to say it might be Minion May May Mania. It's only because one thing. The other one competitor for that is Transformers. Transformers is just kind of stupid. Like, you're just getting thrown around and then they say save the day. I mean, it's kind of what's happening in the uh, Forbidden Journey. But the Forbidden Journey is just all right amazingly done. The reason why I don't like Minion Mania is because you actually go into a theater at the beginning. That's it. Nothing more. Just you go into a theater and it feels like... It ruins the feeling of it's actually happening. The Simpsons is one of my faves. I liked that one. So yeah, what were your favorite rides from Disneyland and the California Adventure versus Disneyland and... Which one I like more, California Adventure or Disneyland? I don't know, I had a better experience at California Adventure just because, um, uh, the California Adventure was our whole family together. My sister invited a friend and they went to do their own thing, so I didn't get to experience the ride with my whole family. But, yeah, my brother skipped out on most rides, so it was usually, and my mom had to stay with him, so it was usually me and my dad or me and my mom, so it wasn't that family together. So, yeah. I I had a better experience at the California Adventure, but by all means, I loved the the second Disneyland. Which one did you guys like better? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll check your liked videos if you don't. Um, so like the video. Make sure to share this with your friends. Subscribe, tweet it, whatever. I'm Judy Gaming out. Bye, homies. Remember, go to Twitter, my Twitter, and tweet to me what you want me to do for my videos. If you do not have, for some reason you can't do this whole Twitter thing, comment down below what you think my videos should be. I'll allow that. And if you don't have an account, um, I so find something else. I don't, I don't got anything. Maybe you can find, like, a video idea somehow. I don't know. MGD Gaming out. Peace.